Hello, my sweet precious friends, and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, I'm Jamie, and I know it's been a hot minute since I got a video out. Lots of life changes. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what's going on, and if you follow my blog, but I will talk to you guys about that later, but got my coffee in, now it's bed making time, and Lily Jean needs a bath, like really bad. So I'm gonna give her a bath this morning. I am off today. I've got to talk to you guys about that as well. So much to talk about. So, so much to talk about. But if you do not follow me on Instagram, go follow me. That way you can stay updated a little bit more. I am going to bring you guys content. I am so ready to be back at it and on the weight loss journey because let me just say, not really weight loss, it's called health journey because I have got to get my health in order. So, I'm gonna do that. Let's bed make. And my camera's dead, the battery needs charged. So, oh, and I got my hair cut. <laughs> like I said, lots of life changes. So, I'm going to make my bed, get the puppy bathed, and I will check back in at breakfast time. I'm not really sure we're gonna eat today. Gotta figure that one out. But my goals for this week are super simple. I am doing three goals a week. I am staying in check. I am tracking every bite, weighing and measuring. Consistency is key. Exercise and going to read and journal every day. I am going to get my stuff together. So I'm really excited about those goals. So let's get to bed making. Let's just say, she is not too happy with me right now. <laughs> this is an unhappy girl. She's like, Mom, seriously, did we have to have a bath today? Yes, you did, because you stunk. Anyway, bath time's over. Now it's the drying, sweet friends. I'm at it. I had all this done last year during COVID. I had the opportunity to come out here and really clean up my yard. And now it's back to where it was because my sweet boys are sleeping while Mom does all the work. Anyway, so I'm gonna get this yard in gear just to get all the scraps and blech out of the weeds and stuff that I've been growing that enter my bushes, get that stuff done. But I wanted to check in. Here's what I'm up to. All Let's right, sweet friends, I got the front yard done. Look how disgusting I am, but that's okay. Mm, the flower beds were a mess, so I had to get those done. Yes, I still need to. <laughs> sand and paint that eventually, but at least the front flower beds are done. Now I just need some pine straw. I got rid of all the yuck and it's raining. I'm here for it. I'm just sitting on the front porch because I'm mad at the boys for not helping me. But anyway, it's going to be a great day. Okay, I'll check back in after I get all this cleaned up. Sweet friends, it's breakfast time. You guys know how much I love savory oats and if you don't, you get the sneak peek of this amazingness. All right, so Savory oats, I do three-fourths cup water. And then I do one-fourth cup. This is just old-fashioned oats. Um, I hope it's enough. I think it's going to be. And then I do a little salt and a little pepper. And I cook it. It might not be enough oats. I'm going to go ahead and do a half a cup of oats, guys, because I think... The quick oat, the old fat, let me, let me get some of these other oats. Some of my other oats in there. Yeah, let's do a half of a cup of oats. You guys know I like to change things up a bit. So I'm going to cook these oats. I'm gonna try to find a spoon. So I'm gonna put those on and just kind of stir So I will have to put, so it's one half cup oats and one cup water. So I'll cook those. Okay, now that it's like 
it's more like a porridge. I'm going to add in 21 grams of whipped cream cheese. I just use the Aldi Happy Farms brand and you're gonna turn the heat down a little bit while you do this and cook it. And you're also going to do, let me show you this. One ounce of sharp cheddar cheese. So super simple, so I'm gonna cut this up. I'm just gonna let that simmer in there and cook. And on low heat and just kind of stir. And it'll get really creamy. And turn that heat down. And I'm going to also have two of the sausage links, the Never Any from Aldi. They are so good. And I have two of these chicken sausages, the breakfast sausages. And I just cut them up in there. Well, actually, I'm just going to heat these up in the microwave to make it easier. I normally cook them on the stove top, but I need easy this morning. And so when you get the consistency of the oatmeal that you like, then you're good to go. So that's about the consistency that I like. I'm gonna turn the heat off on that. Pour that into my bowl. These are, this is one of my favorite breakfasts. This is what I'm so excited about, being able to do when during the summer is to go cook the breakfast that I like. Because I'm here for it. All right, so my little sausages are done. I'm just gonna place those in my oatmeal. <laughs> they stuck to the napkin a little bit. It's kind of gross. It's breakfast. It is so good, so yummy, and it's one of my favorite. I normally add eggs, but since it's 10:20, I'm just gonna do this this morning and then go from there because I really needed some more protein, but we'll figure that out. I'm probably gonna have a smoothie today since I haven't, since I haven't eaten breakfast yet. So, all right, I'm gonna eat this. So stinking good, you've got to try savory oats. Savory, savory oats, you gotta try them. All right, I'm gonna go eat. <laughs> all right, friends, eating breakfast, chilling with Lily, and of course, watching see Mindy Mom, catching up on all my YouTube favorites. Feels good to be back, y'all. All right, eat the food, drinking the water, doing all the good things to get myself together and figure out what the day is gonna entail because I have no idea. I'm gonna be willy-nilly, that's for sure. While I'm out in the yard working my hiney off, this is these two right here. It is 10-10. Look at them. Get your rear ends out of the bed, clean your room, and get your lives together right now. No, I'm not leaving you alone. I need your help. And what is that over there? Chips and salsa in a bowl? You guys are fired. Uh, Lily. Hey, Lily. That was me. Uh, <laughs> you better get that crap. That's in my me. office getting some things done. If you have not joined my amazing group, I share all the things, health, beauty, lifestyle, just all the good stuff. We've been having weekly um, challenges and it's been so fun. And so I'm picking the winners for those and getting those things together and sending out gifts and giveaways. And I'm so excited about that. So working on some things, I've got to uh, get online and I've got to do a live, get my face put on, you know, all the things and then um, go from there. So, all right, I'll check back in short. All right, sweet friends, it's Jeep talk again. <laughs> Um, all right, so Chaz and I, I'm sorry about the shaking. Please forgive me to get my makeup done. I did a couple of reels. I was trying to do this new eyeshadow look. What do y'all think? Anyway, it works. I am not good at eyeshadow. Never have been. I wasn't a big eyeshadow person, so I just, anyway, so I did a new little reel and hope to post it on Instagram. Anyway, we'll see how that goes. But we are headed to go get a smoothie for lunch, and, and then I'll have to have a snack before workouts. We'll see how that goes. I did not plan my day as well because I'm playing too much. You know how that goes. I just did a live for my accountability challenge beauty group that I love so much. 
and I'm doing some giveaways over there and it's just so much fun. So if you'd like to join our group, just let me know. It's super fun. Anyway, so I did all that and trying to get my stuff together and I'm gonna go walk with mom. So we're gonna, we were gonna go grocery shopping. I'll probably wait and do that tomorrow because I'll have off tomorrow. So I'll probably just wait and do that tomorrow and I'll just do a grocery haul for you guys and that'll be awesome. So I'll just do that. So anyway, um, we are headed to get a smoothie, then I'm gonna go walk, and then I've got CrossFit tonight at 4.30, and then dinner. So I'll have plenty of time to get dinner done when I get home. So I should have kind of gotten all that together, but you know, that's just the way it is. But um, all right, so I am headed out with my sweet boy. He didn't have to work today, and I'm not sure why, because it's not raining. It rained for about an hour, because I was out the yard working. That's why I rained. If I wasn't in the yard working, it would have rained today. But anyway, <laughs> but I got it done, so that feels good. Now I need pine straw and all the things because it looks kind of bare. But I would just I cleaned out all the yuck. But anyway, all right. I will check back in. I will show you my smoothie. Super excited, and then my walk with my sweet mommy. All right, check back right, in. Just got us a smoothie. Would you get both have the same right? thing? Huh? Are you vlogging right now? Because we are. All right. Here's our smoothies. <laughs> Holy cow, that's cool. We are on our walk on the last haul up the mountain. Look up, look up the mountain. Say hey, mom. Hey. <laughs> so we're, <laughs> we only did two miles, right? That's all we did. No. Two? How many? 2.54 so far. Oh, we did real good. And my makeup looks good, and we just <laughs> did all that walk. Hey. I'm oh, sorry, 2.24. Ah, yeah. Anyway, so we are finishing up. And then I've got time to spare before the gym. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm um, finishing it off. It's just gorgeous today. It was supposed to rain, too. You know, like it rained on me this morning. All right, I had to pull my hair up. All right, so snack or lunch or whatever you want to call it. Multigrain crackers and chicken. That's how we roll. Really fancy around here. But it's really good. So that's all that matters. Two point what? Mm. Are you good? Yeah. All right. With time to spare. Mm. All right, my sweet friends, it's dinner time. And one of my favorite easy go-tos is brown gravy and ground beef. So this is the 90-10. So I'm just going to fry it up in the old skillet. And I will add the brown gravy mix. These are gluten-free gravy mix packets. And all I do to season this is just put salt and pepper because it's going to have the brown gravy in it and it'll give it lots of taste. So just a little bit of salt and a little bit of pepper. And you guys, I'm cheating on the side, one of my sides. We already had potatoes. <laughs> Dave boiled potatoes and we had potato salad at the lake on the 4th. So I've got those potatoes. So I'm just going to make mashed potatoes out of them and we're going to do this over the mashed potatoes. So I'm going to fry up this meat and I will show you the after. I have some fresh squash from the garden. So I am going to peel this and we are, excuse me, we're going to make us some squash casserole because yes please. So the meat is getting browned. I'm going to drain the grease off and I'm just gonna add the packet of brown gravy on top of the ground beef and then add the water that it calls for to kind of just kind of marinate it together and fuse that together. And so that way it'll be really, really good. So I'm gonna let this continue cooking. And now I'm chopping the squash. So I'm going to boil the squash before I place it into the casserole. Um, I found a casserole. I used a casserole recipe. Um, it didn't go as well because I did not cook the squash. Because, I, like I said, the Southern girl has never made squash casserole before. And I was kind of disappointed in myself because you're supposed to cook the squash before you use it, which makes complete sense. 
So live and learn, people. You live and learn with cat girls. Um, I guess the rain stopped because it really just went outside. I'm trying to catch up on Instagram stories too. Ugh. So you know. All right, so I'm gonna finish chopping this up and then I'll show you the brown that gravy. And I'm going to uh, sprinkle this brown gravy mix onto the ground beef. And then it calls for a cup of water. So I'm going to, I'm gonna add brown, one and a half of the packets of brown gravy. Make sure I have enough. I'll save that for the next one. And I'm gonna add the water. Just let that simmer in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this sit and cook. And it does so good. Oh, it looks so good. CrossFit workout. It is five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, and 15 air squats. And of course, I don't have my pull-ups or my push-ups. So I did knee push-ups and I did jumping pull-ups. Then you had to do 15, 12, and nine clean and jerks in the middle. Holy crap, it was so hard. That was the Mondayest of, mon of workouts ever. Mondayest of Monday workouts. Like, no, not today. But I, I survived. I lived. I lived to tell about it. So now I'm going home to cook dinner. So I'll show you guys the after of dinner. Or the during and the after. Okay? All right, let's go. So I've got my squash diced up and put in the Dutch oven. And I've got onions with um, just some spray olive oil in the skillet to go ahead and cook these up. I did put two tablespoons of oil in the squash. I'm going to cover the squash and just let it steam for about 20 minutes. All right, so I'm doing a, I don't know how Dave got this in here, a fourth of a cup of mayonnaise, a fourth of a cup of yogurt, two eggs, blend that. I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. And I'm just going to keep it in the Dutch oven and bake it. All right, so salt and pepper to taste. cheese. I'm just using regular cheese. Actually, I'm going to put a little bit more. So, three-fourths of a cup of cheese. Just so it covers the top. And then, breadcrumbs. On the top. What are you doing with cream cheese? Nothing. I was going to, I thought it called for it in the recipe, but it doesn't. Now I'm going to bake that at 350 for 30 minutes. I have to show you this gorgeousness. Okay, so the squash casserole is done. Then the hamburger and brown gravy. And then we had boiled potatoes. So Dave made just mashed potatoes. Really simple with just sour cream, mayo, a little bit of butter, and all the goodness. My sweet friends, here's dinner, you guys. This looks so incredible. This is gonna taste like lava, Dave said, so we're gonna have to let it rest a little and then I'll eat it. But a cup of mashed potatoes, this is a half a cup of the um, ground beef and gravy, a cup of green beans, and then 
half a cup or three quarters of a cup of squash casserole. So that is dinner. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this what I eat today, getting back on track, doing all the good things. I've gotta figure out my macros for today. I know that I probably didn't get enough protein in because having this smoothie instead, I should have gotten some protein put in it. But every day is a new day and we're just gonna roll with it. Giving myself grace. All right, my friends, and that is a wrap of what I eat today. Always remember, you're amazing, you're beautiful, you're loved, you're enough, and you are flipping phenomenal. Love you guys so stinking much. Mwah.